Get ready to take flight into the future with an aircraft like no other. Meet the X-59, a revolutionary NASA research vehicle designed to redefine how we experience air travel. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of the X-59, exploring its unconventional design and delving into its possibilities. So, if you don't want to miss any of these incredible updates, keep watching the video. The value of speed in time management. You know how valuable time is, and speed plays a crucial role. Faster travel means more time to tackle essential tasks at your destination, whether personal or military endeavors. In the world of aviation, increased speed not only enhances efficiency but also offers more options when unexpected situations arise. Commercial flights have maintained an unofficial speed limit of around 600 miles per hour for decades. For example, a typical New York to London flight takes approximately six and a half hours, which has mostly stayed the same over the past 50 years. Unraveling the speed limit for commercial airliners You might wonder why the speed restriction is for commercial airliners. This limitation boils down to two primary factors, efficiency and noise. Achieving higher speeds demands greater thrust, leading to increased fuel consumption and subsequently higher expenses. Despite advancements in engine technology and aerodynamics, most commercial airplanes have been optimized to operate around the 600 mile per hour mark. Exploring supersonic feats in the Concorde's legacy It's worth noting that aircraft capable of flying far beyond this limit exist, like the Concorde, which soared at speeds exceeding 1,300 miles per hour. We'll delve into the fascinating details of this remarkable plane later on. This speed threshold in commercial aviation reflects the delicate balance between efficiency, noise reduction, and overall performance. Efficiency, noise, and commercial aviation speed threshold. When flying beneath the speed of sound, breaking the sound barrier is measured using a Mach number. Mach 1 signifies the threshold of supersonic speed. Modern commercial airliners and business jets typically cruise from Mach 0.7 to 0.8. Astonishingly, this speed constraint isn't due to technological limitations but rather stems from noise concerns. The Acoustic Impact of Supersonic Speeds As an aircraft reaches supersonic velocities, it generates a distinct shockwave known as a sonic boom. This sudden and intense noise can be bothersome or disconcerting for people on the ground. Consequently, various countries, including the United States, have enforced bans on civilian aircraft producing sonic booms over inhabited areas. NASA's X-59 Quest Aircraft Unveiled NASA has introduced the X-59 Quest aircraft to address noise concerns by reducing the impact of sonic booms. The aircraft generates pressure waves that ripple outward from its path, traveling at the speed of sound at 678 miles per hour at an altitude of 30,000 feet. These waves propagate in all directions, like dropping a pebble into water, allowing the aircraft to navigate the atmosphere with minimal impact. Navigating the Atmosphere with the X-59 Quest When the aircraft attains supersonic velocities, these pressure waves gather in front of it, compressing and forming shock waves. This phenomenon mirrors how waves accumulate before a ship as it sails through water. As the aircraft approaches the speed of sound, these shock waves extend outward, leading to a swift shift in air pressure. This alteration happens so rapidly that it materializes audibly as a distinct boom, the sonic boom. Unraveling the Audible Consequences Remember the Concorde? An engineering marvel is reaching Mach 2 or 1,350 miles per hour. However, its sonic boom prompted multiple nations to limit their supersonic flights to oceanic zones. Despite being an extraordinary feat of technology and one of the most captivating aircraft in the skies, the Concorde faced economic challenges and acoustic limitations. Its operational costs were astronomical and its noise emissions prohibited supersonic flights over densely populated areas. 
Sonic Boom Challenges and Economic Realities The vision of commercial supersonic travel continued beyond the Concord era. NASA experimented with the F-16XL, a unique variant of the F-16, to minimize sonic boom noise. The twin XL aircraft, numbered 848 and 849, were equipped with aerodynamic modifications and perforations to study laminar airflow. However, the cost of implementing these modifications on commercial airliners could have been more practical, leading to the program's discontinuation in 1999. Today, the quest to mitigate sonic boom disruptions is renewed, as evidenced by the ongoing efforts with the X-59 quest. Reshaping Supersonic Flight with Design and Altitude Reimagined as a purpose-built X-59, its sleek and elongated design plays a vital role in shaping its volume and disrubuting lift. This strategic layout disperses the shock wave accumulation, preventing them from concentrating on the intense front or rear shocks, the usual culprits of resounding sonic booms. The X-59 is meticulously crafted to soar at higher altitudes, hovering around 55,000 thousand feet. This stands in contrast to most modern airliners, which operate within the range of 30,000 to 40,000 feet. This heightened altitude substantially reduces the audible impact of the sonic boom. X-59's Acoustic Journey and Sonic Boom Profile Propelled by a modified General Electric F414 GE100 engine akin to those powering the Navy Super Hornet, a proven and robust engine, the X-59 is projected to achieve speeds up to Mach 1.4, slightly exceeding 1,000 miles per hour. However, the primary question remains, what will be the Sonic Boom's acoustic profile? Deciphering the Sonic Thump of the X-59 You're likely familiar with decibels as a measure of sound intensity. Still, you need to know perceived loudness or PL. Within psychoacoustics, PL gauges how listeners subjectively perceive sound loudness. In essence, PL captures how our ears and brain interpret sound. To illustrate, a firework exploding 500 feet away would register a PL value of 113.6. By comparison, the Concorde sonic boom recorded a PL of 105. In contrast, the X-59's projected sonic boom is estimated at a PL 75. This places it on par with the perceived loudness of of a car door slamming across the street, a sound more akin to a sonic thumb. Exploring the X-59's streamlined vision Beyond its noise-reducing design, the X-59 invites you into a streamlined cockpit adorned with a flush canopy intentionally limiting forward vision. Addressing this challenge head-on, an Enhanced Flight Vision System, or EVS, comes to the forefront, employing a forward-facing 4K video camera. As supersonic and potentially hypersonic commercial aviation gains traction, this innovation is poised to become the new norm. X-59's Impact on Global Connectivity Embarking on the X-59 quest, NASA ushers in a turning point in the evolution of aviation, paving the way for hushed sonic booms or sonic thumps that may unlock the realm of previously unattainable commercial supersonic travel, reshaping our notion of swift transit. The six-hour journeys from New York to Los Angeles could shrink to less than three hours, heralding monumental implications for global businesses, swift deliveries, and worldwide productivity. This paradigm-shifting innovation underscores the profound axiom that speed is indeed life. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the incredible updates of NASA's X-59. Which of them are you most excited about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tech Bros for more content such as this.